Not surprised, the Saskatoon Rempel Brother Cubs made it to the final of their weekend tournament out at Karen's Field. Now the Cubs played host to the St. Albert Tigers. We have some of the video evidence standing by. The Cubs open up the scoring on the top of the first as Neil Corey singles to right. That's going to bring home a runner, and just like that, it's 1-0 Saskatoon Cubs. But St. Albert will come alive big time in the bottom half of the first. First, the single by Corey Harsh drives in a run, and just like that, it's 1-1. Now with the Tigers leading it 2-1 on and already, time for a new pitcher as Darren Bishop had a tough outing. He had to leave, and unfortunately, he couldn't get himself an out. But it didn't get much better for Sheldon Swatsky, who came in relief. He gives up the sack fly. Justin Picer comes in from third, and it's 3-1 Tigers. They lead it 6-1 after only one inning of play. Cubs will cut into lead in the second as Lance Corey comes up to the plate, and oh my, that's going way back and way out of here. Some 450 feet, they say, a three-run shot, and that cuts the lead to 6-4. Now a couple batters later, one man on for Neil Corey, the cousin of Lance, and it's the same story. Deep and out of here. Two more runs on the play, and just like that, it's 6-6. Now leading 7-6, they'll get some insurance as Rick Jansen grounds it out to third. They'll take the force, but give up the run as Lance Corey crosses the plate, and the Cubs come back and cruise to the easy 12-6 victory. Kind of an interesting game, but the Cubs, this team is on a roll. Lance Corey goes three for three, two walks, three RBIs. He was only a double away from the cycle. We have these post-game comments. Yeah, it was nice. We were, uh, we had a lot of trouble with them last year. They beat us both times we faced them, and, and of course we were up for the big game. We wanted to play, and and we had uh, one of our kids that we brought in uh, starting the game. He had uh, he couldn't find the plate to start off, so uh, we'll go back with him tomorrow night in the league and see if he can get on track. And, and Swaski just was under it. Yeah, we fell behind at the start, and uh, we just battled back. Our bats came alive, and uh, we got lucky. What did your bat ever come alive? That was one mammoth home run. Yeah, I uh, signed. The first one he threw me was a strike right down the middle, and I was ready for it. He came back with the same pitch, so I took it deep. Yes, the Saskatoon Rebel Brother Cubs are going to play host to a very exciting event. The Western Canadian Senior Men's Baseball Championships will begin tomorrow night at Karen's Field. There are five teams taking part. The Cubs, of course, the Saskatchewan Wep, Rep, that is Wep. the Weyburn Beavers, Red Deer, Richmond, B.C., <laughs> the Budgies because they're kind of bird-like, and the Manitoba All-Stars will take part in the four-day event. Now, the Cubs excited, really, about having a chance to show what kind of club they have against Western Canada's best. It's time for a tune-up, and in the case of the Saskatoon Rumpel Brother Cubs, time to face some quality competition for the first time in quite a while. The Cubs who captured the Saskatoon Amateur Crown a couple of weeks ago have been idle since and are looking forward to the challenge that this event will bring. It's a chance for all of us to swing the bat and, and see what we can play at at this level. It's been, like I said, a couple of weeks since we played in our own league, and, and it's been about three or four since we played some really good competition, so it's, it's a good test for us. Uh, the guys are looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a big challenge, and um, we haven't played a lot of games, but uh, I think guys are getting pumped for this weekend, and it's going to be a lot of fun. The Cubs are in store for a fun but busy 11 days. Tuesday, they'll leave for the Canadian Championships in Chatham, New Brunswick. And while winning the Western Canadians would be a great way to go into the national tourney, finishing first isn't exactly their number one goal. I don't know that it's important to win, but I think it's important to show well and, and play well. We, you know, we got a few new guys coming in. We released some of the guys from the, uh, the Baseball Institute there. And, and I think it's a chance for us to get together and, and maybe gel a bit anyway. The Cubs lineup will be bolstered by the return of national team member Tim Croker. Croker and the rest of his Canadian teammates fell one win short of qualifying for the Olympics last week in Edmonton. And while he's had a few sleepless nights since, Croker is hoping he can help this crew to a title. I come back, obviously disappointed, but uh, it's all relative to come back here and it's great to be home and great to be with all my friends again and playing and it's a different atmosphere, obviously it's not the caliber of baseball, but it's pretty close. There's some good teams here, and uh, we have a good balanced team, and I, there's a lot of guys that can carry this team and a lot of guys that can contribute. This afternoon of the Western Canadian Senior Men's Baseball Championships at Karens Field, host team was shocked by the Weyburn Beavers, the Saskatchewan rep in their opener last night. They lost 6-5-10. and 10. Today, they played the British Columbia rep, the old Richmond Budgies, and they looked after them. They beat them, didn't they? Early on, David Zanuto rips this pitch. The center fielder way back towards the wall. He won't get there. Just about a ground rule double. Corey Borthwick scores, and it's 1-0. Same inning. Timothy Croker, the national team member, playing for the Cubs. He drives in Zanuto, and it is 2-0 Saskatoon. Then to the dish, Neil Corey, the catcher. The right fielder will handle it, but absolutely deep enough to 
sacrifice home. Mr. Croker, and it's 3-0. Under the third inning, 3-1, when Neil Corey does it again. A bloop single to left, cashing in the same guy. Tim Croker trots in, and it's 4-1 for the Cubs. Get the picture? Sure. Zanuto again. Center fielder looks like he has a beat on it, but it was a little windy today, and it blew over his head. Here comes Corey Borthwick again. 5-1 to one at that point, and the Rempel Brother Cubs even their record. 2, 1-1, one 12-2. One, Action continues all day tomorrow at Cairns Field. Alberta and BC today. Alberta wins it 4-3. Weyburn, 2-0. They beat Manitoba 9-7. And Manitoba wins tonight as they had Red Deer, their first loss, 9-6. Brother Cubs met up with the Saskatchewan representatives from Weyburn in the final at the Western Canadian Senior Baseball Championships. Saskatchewan knocked off the Cubs in the round robin portion, going undefeated at 4-0. The Cubs would have to come up with back-to-back -back victories to win the title. We have some brief highlights to pass your way. We'll pick it up. Saskatchewan leading 3-1, top of the six. Cubs try and get something going. Corey Borthwick leads off with a double. Off the wall it goes. Borthwick's in scoring position. Cubs will try and cash him in. A couple batters later, they'll do just that. Timmy Croker steps up, and like he always does, he comes up big again, a triple, scoring fourth again, it's 3-2. Bottom of the six now. Saskatchewan will add some insurance as Ryan Anhold steps up with a man on. He singles right up the middle, bringing in Greg Reben and the Cubs. Trail this one by a count of 4-2. Saskatoon with one last chance in the seventh, but unfortunately, this was not the night to remember as Todd Plaxton strikes out to end the contest, and that's it. That's all. Saskatchewan over the Rumpel Brother Cubs by a score of 4-2. to two. The offensive MVP for the Cubs just happens to be Tim Croker. What a ball player he is. Defensive MVP, Corey Borthwick. So Saskatchewan wins the Western Canadian Senior Baseball Championships.